all right welcome back to the channel welcome to a new video today i'll be talking about top five reasons why i love this thing right here the uh the apollo x4 so the first feature is really underrated but honestly it's having the the two headphone jacks i know you can buy headphone splitting stations and hardware that you know gives you different monitor mixes but having it built right in, into the portable interface is just extremely convenient and you can control the volume of the instrumental mix and the vocal mix for each headphone jack and honestly this is an absolute must when you're working with other people you know you don't have to fiddle around with uh, something being way too loud for you but something being you know way too quiet for the vocalist or the other way around so just having your own volume for yourself and a separate volume of the instrumental and the vocal for you know the person that you're working with is extremely convenient the second thing i love about the apollo x4 are having four unison preamps. And a unison preamp is something that's unique to the Apollo interfaces. And a unison preamp allows you to emulate different vintage and modern preamps like the Neve 1073, they have the Avalon, they have the Manly Vox Box. Uh, and when you use any of those emulations, you can you know, color your sound and give it a certain feel. So having four of those unison preamps is uh, extremely nice. Now the Apollo preamps on their own are great they're transparent but if you want to give your sound that extra you know extra flavor that extra sauce i think trying the different emulations at least for me personally can give pretty pretty good results and what's convenient about the apollo specifically is once you set up a certain vocal chain like let's say you want the 1073 unison going into uh, a la2a compressor at a certain setting you can save that as a preset for either you know, yourself or if you know something works for a guitar or something works for a particular vocalist so that next time you record you know that person or that instrument that preset saved you don't need to you know fiddle around with with the right setting and, and what works and what doesn't with that particular sound it's there you press it you load up the preset and everything loads on the apollo with the settings that work right away so that saves a ton of time now, the third thing that I love, and this solves an issue that you know, I feel like lots of people have, and, and I've had it as well, especially if your laptop isn't too, you know, too powerful, and that's latency. So lots of times, you know, you'll sing in the mic, that has to go into the interface. From the interface, it goes to the computer, it gets processed, then back through the interface, and then back to, you know, back to your headphones. Uh, and that creates latency. Sometimes it can be a little uh, distracting if, you know, that's, 10, 20, 20 milliseconds from the time you sing to the time you hear your voice through the headphones. But with the Apollo, all the processing is done uh, inside the interface. So with the Apollo X4, there's pretty much zero latency because it has a uh, quad core DSP. So all the processing is done in the Apollo. Uh, sound never has to leave the Apollo to go to the computer to for processing. Uh, sound goes in, processed in the Apollo, and then back out in the headphones there's no latency, there's strain being taken off of your computer so you can record with ease and uh, honestly it's just, it's just such a headache that it solves. And what's nice is you can also run plugins uh, off of the DSP that's built into the Apollo. So UAD plugins only run on the Apollo interfaces, you can't run them through the process that's, that's built into your computer. Uh, but what's nice is you know if you're seeing that your computer is kind of hitting its max with uh, you know, all the plugins that you have. Uh, you can just load up some UAD plugins, take that load off of your computer and just, you know, keep the session going. You don't need to bounce tracks out and always, you know, commit just for the sake of saving processing power. So having you know, both your computer processor and, and the UAD processor, super nice together. If you're trying to decide what Apollo to get, I'd highly recommend getting the, the twin quad or you know, in my case, it's it's the X4 because with four processors, it feels like you never really hit a limit. I mean, obviously you can slam it and you can have tons of plugins, but in kind of normal use, four cores is usually you know more than enough. But the one tip I can say is when you're recording, plugins that you use in your recording chain, including the Unison, you know, preamp. Uh, uses DSP power. So when you're done recording and then you're just producing or, or mixing or just, you know, playing around, turn off 
plugins in console. That's gonna save you some DSP power and allow you to use more plugins uh, in your sessions. The fourth thing that I love about the X4 is the AD to DA conversion. Uh, so for those who don't know, analog to digital, uh, digital to analog conversion. And with the X4 and the rack mounts, I think they use higher grade converters. So although I don't have fancy studio monitors, I have the, you know, KRK Rocket 6s or, uh, you know, my headphones are pretty mid-range. Uh, they're the Bayer Dynamic uh, 700 Pro Xs. Just got them. I use my DJ headphones, Pioneer DJ headphones for the longest time. Finally decided to get some studio headphones. But yeah, as soon as I plugged in the X4 and played some songs off of, you know, Spotify and Apple Music, definitely noticed the difference. Maybe I'm going crazy, maybe I'm not, but definitely noticed the difference and improved sound quality. I immediately noticed the difference when I put on my headphones and listened to some songs and the mic input sounded nicer as well. I'll do a little comparison video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to do a comparison video of my old interface and this interface. I know the preamps are different, so maybe it's a little hard to get an exact comparison, but I can definitely do a comparison video just showing what the recording looks like or sounds like. But when I recorded vocals, uh, yeah, also immediately notice the difference. And the fifth reason why I love it, also kind of underrated, uh, like having the two headphone jacks, is just the workflow of this thing. I love how you can mute your monitors with a single button, use a talkback mic that's built in right into the interface, test your mix in mono, and access almost everything you need uh, just from the controls of, you know, of the device. I like how well integrated it is into console, uh, their software as well. It's super easy to use. You know, it has a ton of features that just make recording a breeze. And like I mentioned that you can have presets before I think, and that's just a killer feature from a workflow perspective. But yeah, all in all, the hardware itself, the workflow on the hardware, the combination of the software all together is just really well built. I don't know what other interface has the quality of the workflow that Universal Audio is kind of put together. So if you're looking to upgrade your interface, and you think about the X4, highly recommended. You won't regret it. It's a little expensive. Well, not a little, it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's gonna last you a long time. And it's definitely, in my opinion, the best desktop interface that's out there right now. I got the Heritage Edition Apollo X4 specifically. All that is, it's, you know, the hardware is the same, nothing's different. Uh, UAD just includes some extra plugins in there. And what's cool about the UAD systems is you can keep expanding. So you can daisy chain different Apollo interfaces together. So if you start with the X4 and you find that eventually as you your experience grows and as you get better as a, as a producer, a mixing engineer, you need more DSP, you need more inputs and outputs. You just buy a rack mount uh, Apollo, you link them together with a Thunderbolt cable and that's it. You have more DSP now, you have more IO, all of it's controlled within console. So the setup evolves with you. Uh, you start with the desktop interface and as you evolve, you know, you get the rack mounts and you kind of go from there. So I hope today's video was helpful in helping you decide you should get the X4. I love it. I hope the reasons, you know, there's a million reasons why I love it, but these are the top five. Uh, I hope that answers some of your questions that you have about the X4. And again, don't forget, if you liked today's video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel to support, and see you in the next one.